The problem is, I still call myself a woman. And every time it drops from my mouth, the word feels like bar of soap slipping through my fingers, like fish out of water, something I wish I could reel back into myself. I call myself a woman and it feels like an accident, like a six car pile up just outside city limits, like you were so close to home, you were so close. You could have been exactly what they wanted you to be when they wrapped you in a pink blanket, when the doctor said, girl, and they were so happy. The problem is my gender is a language I cannot speak yet. I go wide-eyed, jealous, sticky-handed child reaching for the bodies of the long-limbed boys I have always wanted to look like. I think of how many things I'd be willing to give up so that I could look so long, so that I could look so flat, look so sharp and so boy, but my curves are something I am not ready to be divorced of yet. I look down at my body and think, no, I will not abandon you, not yet, not again, not like the rest of them. I think, girl, I think, girl, I think, girl, you have been unwanted in so many hands. And I can't turn traitor to my own powder pink. I can't bleed the woman out of my lungs. I have tried. She does not go easy. Instead, I wear woman like a coat two sizes too small. It doesn't fit anymore, but it smells like home. When I was 13, all my daydreams were technicolor, taking these useless, heavy things on the front of my body and chopping them off with a hacksaw. I say I want the reduction because my back hurts, because they have crippled my body into something unusable. What I'm afraid to admit is I want the reduction because I don't want them anymore. So what do you do when you've been given the choice between two costumes and neither one of them has enough elbow room? What do you do? What do you do when the word woman isn't wrong, it's, but it's not the whole story? And you don't have a word for your story. And, and what do you do when you love that word? Woman, girl, she, her, hers but you don't like how it looks on you. And, and you live in a society that says you have to be one or the other, that there is no in-between, just accidentally mismatching of body parts, but at the end of the day, I have no problem with my body. Just the things everyone else seems to assign to it. Just these, just these words that feel useless up against the person I have worked so hard to love. Only woman. Ill-fitting as it sometimes is, what I want to know is, am I allowed to hold woman at arm's length and still love it like my favorite dress? Am I allowed to put it down when it is too heavy to carry? <laughs>